My name is Tavel Bristol-Joseph. I'm a pastry chef and partner here at Emmer & Rye. I'm also a 2017 star chef, Austin Rising Star. We're a farm-to-table restaurant, really focusing on utilizing seasonal ingredients and also the byproduct. Today, uh, we're gonna use our Vitamix XL to make a sugar apple sorbet. I grew up in South America in Georgetown, Guyana. My aunt used to bake cakes and cookies for Sunday school. I fell in love with helping her to bake in the kitchen. And I think that's where my love for sweets and my passion for dessert started. Typically, making sorbet, you would cut up the apples into cubes, really small. In the Excel, I can put the apples into quarters and I can also add all my ingredients in at the same time. When I say all my ingredients, I mean my simple syrup, uh, water, and citric acid. And here we go. Being able to put all that in one container um, and still have a motor that's powerful to be able to spin that much water and liquid and even sometimes dry product is, is special. I'm basically cutting my prep time in half by using the Excel. What you're looking for is for all the particles to be broken down as fine as possible. That way you get most of the flavor out of your fruit. And then we're going to freeze that and that's how we get our beautiful sorbet. The XL is cool because you also have two different size containers that you can switch in and out for different applications. I'm going to blend it at a medium speed uh, to be able to just get all the butter into this curd so it stabilizes and stays smooth. Now we're going to showcase the power of our Vitamix XL uh, by blending whole uh, berries. We're going to use a white Sonoran wheat. Vitamix is a very important, essential part of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. You can put it through a lot and utilize it sometimes 10, 15 times a day, and it does its job, so I love it. Then we're going to sift it, make a uh, streusel, and the uh, bran that is left in the sifter, we're gonna mix that together with some orange juice and melted butter, sugar, and make a citrus bran twill. And that will finish off the garnish on our dessert. Make an indentation for my canal. This is our white sonoran streusel, a little bit of uh, meringue powder, some edible flowers here. I create through emotions, remembering different moments in your life and remembering how food made you feel when you first experienced it, and then capturing that, that snapshot. And then I'm gonna finish off with a cornell of the apple sorbet and our brand twill.